yes. <laughs> um, but after hearing the explanation, I have decided that I will sing one of the first songs that I learned in the SCA. I began in Anstiora, and I learned many things from Master Yolo Fitzowen. Ah. And I know that this song has traveled uh, the breadth of the known world, and uh, in fact sometimes is sung to him as in, Hey Yolo, listen to this cool new song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's uh, true. Or it's true. true. Isn't it? yes. uh, so I sing it slightly differently than he does, but that's, that's true of, of many songs that have traveled. And uh, this is called Corellia's Song. <clears throat> oh, the baron of East Marches, fair sorceress daughter, was enamored unseemly of the fool of her lord. Though her duke was deemed handsome, he was so vain and petty, with a dark mind as empty as last summer's gold. Now the fool, he was clever, and he sang for his lady, like a nightingale piping in deep forest halls. But his station was lowly, and his body was aging, and their love was as hopeless as if he were stone. Now the lady has led them, the fool and her husband, to her cool secret garden by the midsummer's moon. And she's danced them a spell there of shifting and changing, and she's left them dumbfounded by a sorcery's boon. She has left the fool crying to the gods of his fathers. She has led the duke laughing to her high chamber door. And she's kept him there softly through two days bright dawning, while the servants all gossiped in wonder and awe. Now the fool died in madness, saying he was ensorcelled, and the duke only smiled him a sad secret smile. Now the duke rules his people with wit and good humor, and he sings to his lady like the nightingale's song. And she's borne him five children, two sons and three daughters, and they've grown straight and handsome and sorceress all. And they dance in the garden and sing in the moonlight like nightingales piping in deep forest hall.